evil is surrounding your heart. And because if the devil is surrounding your heart, the, the goal of the devil is to make sure that he make you fall and you go to hell. You can have been born again. But if the devil hasn't been kicked out, the devil will continue to hunt your spirit. Because the devil wants to live inside of your human, to control the human. The devils love to live inside of people's spirit. And they know when you come close to Jesus, the fire is burning them. And they do not want that. They want to live with you. They want to lead you to sin so that to separate you from God. And when they separate you from God, they gain power. And they live comfortably and they gain power on you. You will see that those people who are living in, they do not live in Christ. When you tell them about Christ, they get angry. Because the enemy inside of them is making them to get angry. Have you heard? There's a preacher who has been shot on head in the United States. Why think that he, what do you think that he can bring someone to take a gun and shoot a preacher? It is a devil. All oh, that now, uh, I'm, I'm being kicked out of the people's body because it, the devil, they do not want people to come cr close to Christ. It's burning. It's painful for them. It's not good for them. So, if you accept Christ, you have already said that I accept you, Jesus, in your heart, in my heart. Is on me. Yes then Jesus is starting to move inside your heart. But he wants you to see that your heart is clean. He wants to see you, according to his word, he says that if you love me, my father will love you and I will love you. And we both will come and live inside of you. After you have accepted Jesus in your heart, Jesus is starting to look at you. Many people think that, ah, I have already finished that. No, that is the time you have told Jesus, welcome in my heart. And Jesus is looking at you. He says that, shall I move there or not? Let me wait and see. Is it this person exactly worth me? Is it worth of me to go to live there or not? And at that moment, when he's watching you, the devil is fighting for your soul. So he's fighting that he, Jesus shall not come into your heart. Jesus is there watching to see is this person really is worthy of me because there is two things when you accept Jesus in your heart and you say welcome in my heart and so and so and so there is a Holy Spirit is coming inside of you but not so much it's just coming inside of you but not so much at that moment you are a child in spirit at that moment you still need nourishment because you need still the word of God. You still need to learn. You need to still show Jesus the impressions which are good that he, that he does not move inside in fully. And uh, in that moment, you start when he, in that moment. Uh, when he is starting you, this is the moment when the devil is fighting to separate you from him. And you must win. 
If you don't win, you fail. Because what many people think that because I have accepted Jesus in my heart three years ago, I'm not praying, I'm not going to church, I'm not doing anything, I continue to live in sin, I continue to live in fornication. My dear friend, you are not, you are not saved. I am just saying this with all my heart, with all my confidence that your soul is still not saved, even if you confess with your mouth. Maybe you was saved at that just the very moment, but you lost the salvation after. This is the truth. So if you continue living, because you cannot say that you lo you not lose salvation just at once, maybe after one two sins, but if you continue to live in sin, sin, sin so you go and it's somewhere you lose, you because the word of God say that the the eggs has been put to cut every tree, every tree that does not produce good fruits every tree that does not produce good fruits will be cut and be thrown at the fire and this is something we must all think about if after you have accepted Jesus in your heart we must start to walk the walk and it shall not it is a journey that require commitment in the in Luke chapter 14 verse 28 to 33 is there anyone who planning to build a new house doesn't first sit down and figure the cost so you'll know if you can complete it if you only get the foundation and foundation laid and then run out of money you are going to look pretty foolish everyone passing by will poke fun at you he started something he couldn't finish or oh, can you imagine a king going into battle against another king Without first deciding where it is possible with his 10,000 troops to face the 20,000 troops of the other. And if he decides he can't, he can't, won't he send an emissary and work out, and work out a truth? Simply put it, put if you are not willing to take what is dearest to you, whether plans or people and kiss it goodbye, you can't be my disciple. Simply, but if you are not willing to take what is dearest to you, whether plans or people and kiss it goodbye, you can't be my disciple. Jesus is talking about, he is warning people who are following him. That to say that, very important to remember that when before you have started the journey with him, the first thing you needed to sit down and calculate and you know that, say that, am I really going to finish the journey? It's very important. It is very, very important. Do not make a mistake of the other people who has done. They start the journey and they come to the point and say, I oh, know I can't. Sit down first and calculate and see that I want to go to follow Jesus. And Jesus, that is what he is himself say that. Is there anyone who is planning to build a new house? Doesn't he first sit down and figure the cost so it will know if you can com complete it? The same way of the king who declared the war to another country. First, can he just sit down and figure out, I have 10,000 troops. Do you think my troops can win the battle with another 10,000 troops of another country? If I can see that in my troops, because if the king started to declare the war to another country, they must first sit down and to sit down and think if my troops and to look what my another another king, this another country, this another troops of another country, and which kind of weapon they have, and also if really we can make the good war. You cannot just say that I, I started to declare the war 
and after you say ah no 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 I cannot so people will be laughing at your country I say that it is disgrace for your country it's the same thing it is disgrace for you when you start to build a house and you come to this foundation maybe at half and then you are empty of money and the house is still continue nobody can it's the same way when you start salvation you must first figure out am I really going to complete do I really need do you think that this is worth of me to be there do I have something so important more important than my salvation because you need after when you came into to Jesus you must kiss goodbye everything that is hindering you to complete the journey that means you must deny everything including yourself of course you go cook and you deny even your family if your family does not want to be with you just say them kiss them goodbye also because your salvation is something if you think salvation is much more important for you than anything else then you must keep it so at that moment when you when you, after you declare now I am follower of Jesus the devil will not let you the devil will start to hunt you to put you down and this is why many people does not complete their salvation you fulfill your salvation the day when you are sleeping on your coffin and you have you say that he has beaten the the good fight that time when you everyone speak of you that he has fought the good fight because they know you have fought the good fight that was worth it we know some men and women of God who were sleeping and when we talk about we say that this guy has beaten the good fight because we mean that this is a winner even if we they are sleeping you understand but it is very sad even in heaven when a repented person fall into sin so I am just trying to to try to tell you that we all after when you have came into salvation you must fight to keep it you must fight it complete it the day when you're sleeping in the coffin this is the day you have fulfilled your journey